Hello my loves and welcome back to Iceland. Today we're going to be spending the whole day around this area called Stickis Holmer. So we're not going to be going on any bus rides and it's going to be a very active day. turned my fish, the red fish, into sashimi, which I've lovingly called sashimi. So we're gonna take a first little taste. One thing I've realized is that I will not be applying for MasterChef anytime soon, but it was fun, it was a fun challenge and I'm really proud of us. Mmm. So yeah, Dina, do you wanna try my sashimi? Yeah, okay, go on. Sashimi time! That's really good actually. It's so fresh. And eating it in the harbor, Complete, like complete steak experience. Oh, now we're yeah. trying it, grilled, some chimichurri. Oh, got a so nice cool. big bit here. Let's see how it compares to the sashimi. Mine, mine and my girlfriend's on the both trees in June, so. From what? Yummy, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I just asked the staff how to say it and I fear I butchered that pronunciation too. It's right by the harbour here. There we go, this is the name of it. <laughs> Shower Pakushi. <laughs> finished a delightful lunch and we now have the amazing fish race we're four different stations I have been voted as team leader so we are now going to do the first stop which is to speak to locals and to do a tasting Baldwin here has just knocked on the door let's see what happens I hope they've been briefed <laughs> so this is our first station Hi. hello oh it's lovely and warm in here we have the fish stew, we've also got some dark rye butter and apparently traditionally you're meant to have it with some milk as well. Here we go. It's like onion, black pepper in it, paddock, it's creamy. Mm.
for the evening but first lunch and I'm actually at a local restaurant here which opens up to a beautiful beach and then when you go up the stairs it's a little museum it's a little bit more chillier today but we are going to be heading to the hot baths and then checking in to a hotel right in the city center of Reykjavik which I'm very excited about because I've never been there and I've had so many things about it so definitely going to get our appetite going first because we clearly haven't eaten enough on the trip but let's go are now freshly invigorated after the geothermal pools and we're going to be exploring the city for the next three hours before dinner but the pools were so good i've never actually like ran into the freezing cold ocean like that before but basically the bars are natural hot springs and are split into three levels so the top one is a viewing platform the middle one is a warm pool very very warm especially after diving into the bloody ocean and then the third one's a little bit cooler to prepare you before you go in to the freezing cold water I was a bit apprehensive but then everyone else was going and I was like go on then and then I ended up going three times and it was so cold and so 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 much fun and now with a group quickly here going to the museums but something that is so good for your mental health physical health and I absolutely loved it we are now at this famous hot dog stand let's go ordered the famous hot dog in Iceland. What do you guys think? It's so hard. <laughs> the silence says it all. What are the toppings? So we've got mustard, onions, pickled onions, and ketchup. Ask for all the toppings. We are now at this very popular gelato spot. I'm eyeing up this one. And then I think maybe the dark chocolate one. And or maybe the hazelnut one. I'm with the truth. I'm like for the namesake, Gaeta, which is vanilla, pistachio, and I believe lemon, and also chocolate hazelnut. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this tastes exactly like hazelnut. Um, this tastes exactly like Nutella. That's what I was just say. Mm. I'm going to try Sabina's licorice. Oh, you have it? Yeah, okay. 
Oh, right. I honestly think the only place I like licorice is Iceland because they, it's not as like yeah. strong and overpowering compared to the licorice we have at home. Oh, 